Good evening guys, as you can see in front of you is all my gym kit laid out in a bit of a mess really but I thought today I'll do a video going through what I have in my gym bag my little bits of kit that I use and whatnot. Um, the whole idea of my YouTube channel is to save videos that I've already done on Instagram if you don't know the Instagram if you put on a video it lasts about 24 hours then it goes so I can know what, get a YouTube on liking that and now last for a while now so I've done this video a, a long time ago to be fair like I think like about December time like and whatnot about my gym, my gym bag like and whatnot so I thought you know I'll do it again a bit of an update as well I've got some new kit inside there and obviously it'll be a good little video for a YouTube as well like that so first things first my gym bag this is a standard night gym bag from uh, Sports Direct you know it's you know quite quite big, quite sturdy. Very deep inside pockets. Inner pocket there. A mesh pocket on the side. And that pocket there. Again, this one's quite deep as well. So what I'll do is I'll go through each little bits of kit and where they go inside the bag. So first off, we'll go for the mesh pocket here. This is where I keep my um, shakers. First things first. This is my. BCA shaker or what I use for my intro workouts. Again, this little size, what I'll do is I'll start getting warmed up like and whatnot, then start doing my heavier uh, lifting, then make myself up some BCAs up like and that. Now that throughout the session. Next one is my grenade shaker. This is for my uh, recovery shake. This, this bit here screws off. You put your powder inside there. That goes little section just here. I use um, CMP Pro Cover Shake for for uh, after training. Very tasty and, and uh, does a job. Next up is the this bit here. This is what I call the leg day section. And in here I've got some knee sleeves. Uh, th these aren't the best in the world, but you know they do the job all right. I've had this for a few months to get a bit loose now. And they're a bit scratched up like and that but you know they have a great support really and they're uh, keeping these nice and warm what i will say is for beginners get some knee sleeves but don't start training with them straight away let your joints and that build up a bit, a bit of strength before you start using your knee sleeves i use this for lighter work and rep work and if and um occasionally if, if there's something wrong with my knee like and that i'll do it for a deadlift as well like and that so yeah they're okay decent Decent bit of kit. Like I said, I need to get some new ones. I want some SPD ones, but they're quite pricey. About a minute, that'll do. Next up is some knee wraps. Now, knee wraps are quite controversial in the lifting world. These are Harbinger. Comfortable knee wraps. But yeah. People say you should use them. People say you shouldn't use them. The way I see it is this, is that do your research first. Before I use a bit of kit, I'll research it. So, I knew about knee wraps and knee sleeves, so I'll do a bit of research like that. And they say they shouldn't use knee wraps because they damage your knees. Correct to do. If you use them all the time, non stop, when you're training, like that, yeah. So, what I say is, guys, don't get them if you're a beginner and don't use them all the time, constantly. I use my wraps for heavy lifting. So, heavy doubles, heavy singles, that sort of thing. And when I have a competition, I'm going to use them for competitions as well, like that. Like I say, otherwise I'll use my sleeves, then, then move on to my wraps. So that's my little section here for leg day. Now for this inner section here. In here I have DP and some links. Obviously, a bit of a spray after the session, like I can actually don't smell. Some DP, you know, just obviously, your muscles are aching, like and whatnot. Get some, get some on your muscles. I don't use it that often. But obviously, when you do it, works well. You know, um, I, I, I had a problem with my um, forearm not too long ago. I've been using that on it like that, feels fine. Again, that inside there, along with my um, my Beard Fitness uh, session plan book. So, I make my own plans up throughout the week like that. And that's what goes, I've done, I've done it for a long time. But, for like an example of what I'll do in a day, it's a back day session that I've done. 
Um, so yeah, I said I haven't done it for a while, but I tend to just do my sessions on a Sunday, ready for the week. And obviously with that, I have a pen as well, my B Fitness branded pen. And they'll go inside this little section here. Now for the main bulk of the bag. First off, I'll go with my lifting belt. This is a mobility tools belt, very comfortable. Got some nice padding on the inside, so the, so the back support is really, really nice as well. Suede inside, comfortable stuff. Um, however, it's not the thickest belt in the world, like as you can see in my hand there. It's quite thin, so heavy deadlifts, heavy squats, it digs in a bit. So, I am planning on getting a um, SBD belt. Now, bonus. Our body power of this show got it signed by the Strongmen. Let's go through, we've got Big Z, Adam Bishop, Terry Hollands. Over there again, the Stockman brothers, you see. So yeah, that's, uh, that's obviously my belt that I use. The minute it does a job, but obviously I do, I, do, I do want to get a new belt. Now obviously again, it is uh, branded. <sighs> Next up, some that don't really stay in my, belt, in my bag that often, but I'll take it with me sometimes. The foam roller. Guys, get yourself a foam roller. It's absolutely amazing bit of kit. Great for recovery as well, like and that. So I take it with me, say if I'm doing like a leg day, my hamstrings are a bit tight, or my back or, or whatnot. I use that. Get warmed up and that, do some foam rolling, like and that. And this uh, relaxed muscles is quite a bit, like and that. So, good bit of kit. Like I said, it's not, it's not always in my gym bag. But what is in my gym bag at all times is my massage ball. I use this generally between sets. So, let's say I'm squatting and I'm going to rest between sets. I use this now. I'm a calf, so I'm a hamstring. Look, but I do, I just allow the blood flow into the muscles more and just uh, keep them more relaxed. And obviously, loose like and whatnot. So, yeah, but that's always in the bag and I always use it. <sighs> Next up is my various straps and supports. Now, disclaimer for you guys, yeah. If you're going to get straps and supports, that's great. But don't bore the guys to go in the gym and straight away they're on. You know, don't go to the gym like get on the plug and that using your your elbow seals for instance, like yeah. Give yourself time for your joints to get warm. To build some some, some strength as well, like that. Like there's too many guys that moan they've got bad grip. Yet they'll yet they'll go and deadlift at like, like 80 kilo with straps on, you know. Let your body develop before you start using your straps like that. So start off with my um Elbow sleeves. These are a gift from to me. When I started Strongman, I was uh, training with Britain's strongest disabled man, Darren Greenfield. I actually won Britain's strongest man with that, with these on, like and that. Yeah, they're really comfortable. I for a lot of support, like and that. I think they're great for um, the elbows. You know, do a job for me, like and that. I love them so much. Next up. Stone sleeves. Now, not everybody uses stone sleeves. I use them because I've, I've done stone taunts without the sleeves on. And I had all marks on my arm, like and that. And I said, tacky gets everywhere, like and that. So this is great. You put a tacky on there, no mess. No bruises on your arms, like and that. And they're very comfortable. These are by Hench Strength Gear. Um, check them out, guys, on Facebook and, you, and Instagram and whatnot. But yeah, handy bit of kit to have with stone training. Next up is my lifting straps. I've got two types. These are my Harbinger ones, once again. Harbinger, they're a good, good little company like that for the price as well. I've had these ones for about two years. No, you know, they're, they aren't getting torn. They aren't ripping like that, so that's great. They're comfortable to a point. They do leave marks on my wrists sometimes. <clears throat> but other than that though, you know, two, I've had them for two years, hold up well like that. And, and be fair, they uh, do the job. But yeah, they're, they're my lifting straps. The other ones I've got are from you at your best protein company. These I buy my chalk from, and I had an order about a month ago for some chalk, and they uh, give me these for free, like in that. Again, they are canvas, but they are really soft. C compared to the Harbinger ones, they are quite soft, and they, and they still have a great grip on the bar, and they don't leave marks on the wrist, like in that, so I do like them. I plan to use these for competitions though, and then ones for my uh, training. So yeah, they're my uh, lifting straps. 
Next is wrist wraps. You can find them. I've got two pairs. These are my training pair. I've had these for about two and a half, three years. These are the first things that I've actually bought when I started lifting. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're in good shape still. That for some, the support's good on them for beginner lifters. Um, get warmed up like that and lighter weights great for them, but heavy weights like that. They don't offer um, a great amount of support, but they do the jobs, guys. You know, two years old, they still do the job around like that. Next up is my SBD wraps. These things are absolutely amazing. They're obviously thicker. I have, a, I have a great amount of support like that. The, 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 they're not very um, like, 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 they don't bend very easy like that. Whereas them ones heavy heavy weights like that will bend them. These don't. So I use these for heavy lifting and competitions like that. Them ones lighter work and training only really. So that's them. Next up, we should go for my mouth guard. This is a simple gum shield. Basically, when I'm lifting heavy weights like that and I'm struggling, I will just bite down on my lip like that. And obviously, that obviously, uh, this stops me from, from um, cutting my lips like that. So, but yeah. So, right, guys, you know, it stops the injuries like that. So, yeah. Obviously, you can get the uh, the new age ones, but I've got I've got them yet. So, for a minute, that will do for me. Next up is my chalk. <clears throat> Again, I've had several companies of this one, liking that, but these are the best ones that I've used. Um, people people think you put chalk on your hands and they stick to the bar, you know. Yeah, it helps you up a little bit, but for me, it's mainly because I got um, sweaty palms quite a lot, liking that stuff on there. So the bar that's tip too much out your hands like that. Good stuff. This one's their new formula. The older one I felt lasted longer than this one, but I think this one gives you a better grip. So pros and cons, but yeah. Check them out guys for your uh, liquid chalk. A lot of strong men, a lot of strong men that I know use this uh, chalk as well, so can't be wrong, can they guys? But yeah, them chalk. <clears throat> From the same company is my tacky. I don't keep this in my bag because obviously I don't want to leak everywhere. Obviously, it has leaked a little bit. So that stays in the cupboard at home. I get it out when I need it. But yeah, yeah, it's all right for the price. Like it's decent tacky, like that. I use it on, I use it on a hundred kilo stone. And it's uh, done the job right. Next up is a gym towel, guys. I hate going to the gym. You see somebody there sweating all over the equipment and over the bench like and that. And then I've got a gym towel. Guys, bring a gym towel with you to the gym. I've got several different uh, types of gym towel. This one's not soft. X-Tone. I think like £3 or something from Home Bargain or something like that. No. I've got them. I've got two Dunlop towels and I've got a Beard Fitness branded towel as well. You know, I always go to the gym with a towel on me. You know, it stays in my bag at all times. You know, keep, keep, keep the kit clean. Don't. Be one of the guys that sweats over of a kick like whatnot, guys. This is horrible in the day. And obviously, finish training, get changed. So I've got a t-shirt in there. This is a, a normal little Nike t-shirt they have on there. So now the last two things. Something that get overlooked at training quite a bit like and that is food. Now I'm not saying go to the gym with a big meal like that. I'm saying go to the gym with a snack or something like that. You know, Eddie all said it the best, saying as soon as you Get a weight off, 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 off a um a rack. You then need to start having some protein, some carbs like that. Yeah, because you should immediately you should um start to work. So I have a protein bar and a banana. So I have the banana before or after the session depends how I feel. And after there's a nice little snack like that, lots of carbs. And then mid after the session I'll have a break and have a protein bar. I've got, I mean, I've got this um, PhD bar, very tasty. Does have like a little bit of um, a boost to energy, like whatnot, and to protein. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's my gym kit. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, any questions you got about my kit or any advice like that, Instagram, BeardFitness91. No, give me a message like whatnot, give me a follow. 
And yeah, see you next time, guys.